These cops got ahead of themselves and arrested the wrong people, only to regret their decisions instantly. Let's get into it. Starting off with these Valdosta police officers who were called to look for a suspect when they saw Antonio Smith standing there. He kept answering their questions and didn't do anything wrong, but the officers didn't listen to him. What about, about about suspicious act activity, man? Suspicious activity? What? Where? What? Where about? They say they got someone. Can't view that camera. They told. I told next them what I was doing. Oasis signs right here next to the uh, El Rodeo. I told them what I was doing. I was waiting for. I was waiting for my sister, the Western Union, to meet somebody. I always go there and get Western Union, and they uh, know me. Hey, you got your ID on you? Yes, I got my ID. What are you guys doing? Uh, while here investigating some suspicious activity, well, sir. I, I'm not doing anything. I've been around cameras, so I ain't, I ain't been doing nothing. All right. So what were you doing over there at well, the Walgreens? I'm waiting, waiting for Western Union. Call my sister right now. She's huh? in Florida. You have a cell phone caller. Don't call her. Like call my sister in Florida. Don't don't do this. What are you doing? Oh my God! What are you doing? Put your hands behind, behind your back, back like a gold. Put your Wait, hands. What are you doing? Oh Jesus! Oh my God! Oh please! Put your I was hands. Just doing this thing. Oh my God! Jesus! Oh my God! You broke my wrist. Oh my God! Stop. Oh my God! Uh, 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 yeah, he might be broke. <laughs> oh Jesus! Oh my God! 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 Oh, Jesus. Oh, it hurts. Hold, I'm gonna take it off. Hold on. We're gonna take it off the rest of the stuff. Slide it up your arm. Oh, 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 it hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Yeah. Hurt. The officers assaulted him and one broke his wrist while trying to arrest him. It was later discovered that they had arrested the wrong guy and Smith had done nothing wrong. Smith later filed a lawsuit against four officers involved in the incident and the city's police chief as well as the mayor. The other guy is over there. They pointed out two different people. Yeah. They got the guy with the with a warrant this guy i had just got contact with him no because it's two different people that's why i was trying to figure out if i had missed something he told him to put his hands behind his back because they pointed this guy out too the people at the store pointed him out also don't move your arm okay don't move your arm i didn't even tell me something i thought he was going to warrant. they just pointed this guy out to me who did in reference to what Reference to whatever was going on over there. They said this is the guy, but apparently there's another guy over there too. Moving on, we have these police officers who arrested this guy who was shopping with his wife just because they claimed he looked like the murder suspect they were looking for. His wife, however, soon came to his rescue and started filming the cops as she said he looked nothing like the photo. They pulled him out of the car. They pulled him out of the car and put handcuffs on him because they said he fits the description of a suspect. This one showed me the, the picture, which looks yeah, nothing some, like some him. The, yeah, the and when I asked to take a picture of the picture that he showed, he won't show me. The picture looks nothing like him. Yeah, I want, I want, I want to take a, a picture of the picture. Not taking a picture of my yeah. screen. Yeah, Why I'm not? telling you that right now. Yeah. He won't yeah. let me take a picture of his screen, listen, listen, which is supposed to fit the why? description. Come yes, on, please tell me on. why. Where, where everything is legal. We have insurance on the car. Okay. The gun is registered to him. Well, this will be really quick and easy. Good. That is, it, it is a big of a deal because if you were sitting yeah, in your car minding your own business deal. and cops just came and dragged you out of your car and you put you in handcuffs and, and said that you car, fit right, the right, description, right, you would be very upset too. You didn't drag him out the car? Right, yeah. So this is not him out of his own vehicle in handcuffs because he fits the description? Listen, we're gonna handle this how we're gonna handle this. You're not dictating this. And you're you not guys are violating our civil rights. Not violating you very much it are. Really you is. you very much are. What law is this that you can take someone out of that car because they fit the description and arrest them? All you guys had to do was run his name. You run his name, right? He did. So what's... Waiting for to let us know. Why are you holding him? Are you scared he's gonna run or what? In handcuffs? <laughs> In case he falls down. So what you guys stopped him for, you guys already figured out that's not it, but you're still holding him now? Why can't we talk to the lieutenant? What do you need to talk to speak to the lieutenant? Just so I can speak to a friend with conversation. Okay, why can't we have a conversation? Why can't he just talk to your supervisor if he asks you, don't he, ha don't he have that right? There's somebody over you, isn't there? Well, he wants to talk to whoever's over you. I can call him, but I 
Yeah, I do. I want to speak to him. His wife argued that it was a case of racial profiling, and at some point, the cops too realized that they had made a mistake arresting the wrong guy. Jesus, this can't be real, bro. This can't be real. Like, I, I, I can't deal with this. So y'all figured out he's not the suspect, and now you're looking. Y'all are just looking for something at this point, is what you're telling me. Well, we stopped you for being a murder suspect. We determined you're not the person. Now, so now we're going to investigate something else. Right the only reason why he's the same detained is because he's black and he had red dreadlocks. And y'all can't this, tell one this, from the next. Dreadlocks. That's what it is. Yeah. You're black and you have red dreadlocks and y'all can't yeah, all black people look alike. Y'all could, obviously could not tell that, that that was not the right person. I don't know why it's so hard to answer a question. Just say for your protection. We're free to leave, right? Scott had his car stolen outside his aunt's house in Miami. Just when you think his day couldn't get any worse, he ended up calling the Miami Police Department to report his stolen car. When the cops arrived, though, they did not listen to him and instead arrested him. Is there anything in your back room? Uh -huh. Put your hands behind your back room. 432. 432. I'm, I'm being arrested. Detain right now. Why am I I'm going to explain to you in a minute. Where's your ID? Yeah. You're gonna take all your stuff. We can't take this. Or this. I'm gonna reach you your rights real quick. All right. I'm telling you guys got the wrong guy. I can confirm where I was, and I can even confirm my activities. I just recently logged off of the VPN at my job. Okay. At what time? Roughly before I came over here. Before I called you guys. Okay. But I'm telling you, you guys got the wrong guy. Okay. The description of the car of the guy that took off from your car is just like yours. But that's half of Miami, bald headed with a beard. Uh, even if he had dreads, it dreads with a beard. Okay. But then that's, it's not fair. I mean, like, like I said, my kids, I called because my car got stolen. The man kept on claiming his innocence, but the cops wouldn't listen. They placed him in the car as they said he looked like a suspect they were looking for. So what time was your car stolen? I told you, probably around about five. I didn't pay attention to the time. I really just jumped out of the car to go see. That's it. If you want, like I said, we can go. Like I had my kids and stuff like that. Dropped him off, came over to, to say hi, and I went, I mean, I don't know what happened. I don't, I mean, like I said, I know the people that stay across there, over here, all over the place. I don't know what happened. My car just, somebody jumped in, drove off. And I'm sorry, but I'm telling you, I didn't, I didn't do it. I mean, literally, I, I mean, why would I call the police? <laughs> I mean, I called because my car is stolen. I mean, I, how me and my kids are going to get home? My pillow, my my work ID, my work stuff, all of that stuff is in there. Why would I? That's why I'm like, what? what's, why am I in handcuffs? If I'm calling them and, and, and I'm. Uh, just give me a second. You've never been arrested before? No. You sure about that? Yeah. All charges against Scott were later dropped, and the cops received severe backlash everywhere in the media for their treatment. Moving on, these two guys were driving around the block when they started to follow a police car that was going really fast. The officers stopped the car and went over to deal with them in a very horrible manner. Why do you have your fucking gun drawn? Because you're following me, that's why. Is that illegal? Is that illegal? Is that unlawful? Is that unlawful? Is that unlawful? Is, is that unlawful? Am I being detained? For what? What reasonable, articulable suspicion? Okay, you can tell me right now because the second you get another unit here, that's conspiracy. Yeah, give me your name and ID. Hey, they have their guns drawn name on those and ID guys. Now. You're name live on the now. internet right now, so yeah, you're be careful what you do. Bro. You're live streaming right now. You have your guns drawn on us. All yep. right, buddy. Yep. I'm gonna take your. Hey, direct match. D. Mirror this. This guy has his gun drawn on us, bro. So it's okay for you to speed. This guy has his gun drawn on us, man. And then pull a gun on me. Yeah. I have my hands right fucking here. What reasonable, articulable suspicion do you have? This to is Lee draw County. A gun on me? Lee County, guys. Lee County Sheriff. Where's your supervisor? Is he on his way? This guy thinks he could just speed and not use turn signals and then try to intimidate us by pulling out his gun. Without that gun and that badge, you won't do. After the cop found out they were filming and actually knew the law pretty well, he called four units for backup. However, he instantly regretted that decision as the people inside took them to the cleaners in front of their supervisor. What was your reasonable articulable suspicion? What was the speed? What was your reasonable 
Why do you guys act above the law? What makes you guys special? Because you wear that clown suit and that badge, it makes you special, it makes you speed and not, you're not even you're not even using turning signals. We got everything on camera. So for that reason, you want to go and pull guns on us, right? That's what you guys do? You guys are a bunch of bullies. You, had it you guys are a bunch of bullies. You guys it caused the front. disconnect. It was pointed towards the vehicle at, at the, the bottom ground. of the vehicle. Really, because the cameras yeah. aren't going to pick that up. It was pointed at the ground. It never was pointed at you. You know why? Why? Because we got called here by another officer as an officer assistant. For what? And he stopped answering his radio. For what? Yeah, because he was too much to answer a goddamn question. That's why we're so scared a of a camera. On you guys already. I've already got a team of lawyers to sue you guys' asses. And you guys just gave us that much more ammo. I'm trying to figure out what I did. What you did? Did you come here? Are you did, did you come here to detain us? I didn't come here to detain you. I came here to South Park and called you. Called you, which was for a detainment, correct? Which was for him being out with two males and he needed assistance. For what? Because he was out with two males and he needed assistance. Yeah, exactly. He's talking, bro. He's picking this all up. Bro, did you guys leave your balls in the academy or something, bro? Why are you guys yeah, so scared of everything, bro? All of you, man. You come and you pull your guns out just because we called you out on, on something that he did. You guys all come with your... Look at this. Look what you guys look like, bro. You bunch of gang members, bro. To your car? Nothing. You drove off because you knew I wasn't going to move. And I didn't move away from your car. And I'm not going to move away from your car. Ever. Why? Because it's not your car. We, the taxpayers, pay that car, not you. Remember that. We good? Yeah, we good. Just remember, bro, don't be scared. We're just citizens. Next up, this man was casually enjoying some food with his family at Lynn Haven Mall in Virginia Beach when these cops suddenly came up to him and mistook him for a thief they were looking for. Is this a public case? Yes, what did he do? We just talked to my family. Talk to you, okay? But he did nothing. Y'all got the wrong person. We don't even have a black truck. A black truck, bro? We don't have one. When did y'all get this? We just came to the mall. What did he say? But you know, I know. I we'll record this. I'm not going to record it. Okay, but don't you snap. Serious? But what did he do? You, no, no, you, yo, you gonna let me talk? You, you lucky got these cuffs on me. Get, take Dave, me to, don't um, snap. Yo, take me to the it's front, fine. Yo. But what did he do? Take me to the front now. Can you tell us we just came with our family? family? We don't even have a black truck. No, get off me. Don't take Jamar, me. Jamar, don't snap. Wait a second. Come here. Come record this. Record. Follow them. Follow them. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. What did he do? How, what are you doing? What? What are you doing? Get these flames straight to me. Jamar, what are you doing? Y'all fing. We ain't here with our family. Are you serious right now, dog? What? No, y'all, this is so fing embarrassing. Me, get these we are with our family. I got my baby here, a newborn. Get Why do y'all have him? But what did he do? He didn't do anything. I know I'm not. Like, we were our fing head. Get you don't do that. That is so you know what's going on in the world today. Yo, we we all here. I'm going to jail. We take we don't do nothing. I got to see. I don't didn't do nothing. Yo, get do you know me. how embarrassing take that is? Your man just said you can't. Man. You can still on me. It is the wrong person we told you. You asked no. him about a black truck and we said we y'all didn't even give him no. Y'all didn't give him a chance to explain. You you said do you have a black truck? He doesn't. We don't even drive a black truck. That nigga's arrest me when he is. With our kids. What with my. No! You ask I, questions, I'm not going to do that. But you don't do that. 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 Just when the cops took him outside in handcuffs, they realized they had the wrong man. The officer even apologized to him, but he was furious, as you would be. Talk to me, m. Yes, sir. Come on, let's go. I got go. your name. What's let's your name? Let's go. We're leaving. All right, I'm going to see your ass again. It's all right. Just what's wrong with you, man? I'm not going to be in no questions. Don't move. Don't move. Wait, I don't give a f**k what's going on. I want to know. Take him. Go ahead. Y'all go. I sincerely I apologize. It was no. a mid- I mean, y'all just kidding. Understand. That was so embarrassing. Was if he was- If he was- And then he had- Man, are you putting me a hand? Because what? I'm taking a bite from my son? Then I wouldn't have talked to him about it. I would have just taken him into custody and detained him, okay? No, bro. I understand it's embarrassing. Do you have a car? I sincerely apologize. You did that all wrong. I sincerely apologize. It's fine. It's all right. That was nothing. Fair Do you have a car? And that's how y'all do black It was definitely stereotyping because things could have been handled in a different way. It definitely is. That's what we fight for. 
Now, yeah, I can I have a car This is how we get treated in 2020. In 2020. So have, uh, that's how I get treated, that's bro. You have the right to be upset, sir. That's why we fighting in front of y'all up. You have the that's right. all right, babe. Next up, we have Officer Joshua Payne from Titusville Police Department, who starts chasing James Lowry as a suspect in a domestic incident. Westbound on Queen. Westbound, black male, black jacket, jeans. On Gail, stop running, stop reaching your pocket, drop it, drop it, drop it, get down, get down, no water, get down, get down, get down, get down, hey he's running, he's running. Shot fired, shot fired. fired at him at the back of his head, resulting in his death. Only later, it was discovered that he had killed the wrong suspect. Payne was arrested soon after and was criticized by the police chief too for his actions. A tragic incident for everyone involved. 